Explain like I'm five. Why is W called W and not double verses? Originally, they were the same letter. And the letter far more often made the sound of the modern U than the modern V. But it varies across languages. In French, it is in contact called double V. A long time ago in the Latin alphabets, the V and U were the same character. The U sound would often morph into versus sounds even during the Roman Empire the preferred shape was that if the V and the sound we associate with W was originally written with two U's hence the double versus shape. When the letters were officially differentiated, the W shape didn't change. Coincidentally, this shift from UW sounds to A versus sound has happened often in European languages. It's one of the reasons the W has A versus sound in German. English speakers, how do you pronounce the BMW car brand? BMW? Better question why don't we just call it Woo Woo? In Dutch it's just way. Instead of describing what it looks like it's named after the sound it makes. In Latin languages it is indeed called a double V at least it is in Portuguese, Spanish and French. My question is why it is spelled so awkwardly instead of just we. I get it for languages that use it only in foreign words without distinctive pronunciation WV. Czech. VW Polish not for English. In cursive it is a double U. I was amused that when I opened up this thread a Walgreens logo appeared at the top and the W there is clearly two U's. In Danish W is actually called double V, simply because it's two verses face with rolling eyes. I have wondered about the double U myself man shrugging. The better question is why don't we call W some combination of its sound and a vowel. We could call it woo for example. This would be consistent with how we say other consonants. Having a whole word inside the name of a letter is just wrong. Yes. I know I care too much about this. In Spanish it is doble uve, which means double uv. Bcsev is uve. So it depends on the language. Spanish kept both of them to make it easier to denote its origin. I thought it was because to make the W sound wa your mouth combines the sounds u and a, uh, which is the two pronunciations of the letter u. In some other languages, it is double v. French nominates it as double v not spelt like that this is just to convey the phonetics. Might be similarly represented in other Latin languages. Enjoy. I've given two solid reasons why it's like this but my comment keeps getting auto-moderated saying. My answer isn't sufficient. I have a personal theory on W. W is not a real consonant. It's right in the name that it's a vowel. There are two sounds that the letter U can make. It goes U as in cute and it goes U as in cut. Now take those two sounds that clearly belong to the letter U and put them together like U A. Say it fast with a very short U and what do you get? A goddamn W. P. S. Y does the same thing in its consonant usage. Y as in yellow is pronounced E E U. All these languages calling it W or double verses are weak. We have a separate sound for the letter W as if it's a normal letter. It's not intended to be a description of what it looks like it's a description of the sound. Ua. Uh, long U followed by short U. V and U used to be the same letter. Similarly, W used to be literally a double U. U U. However, this was when U and V were the same letter. In French, V is V and W is double V. Kinda murdered it a lil. But yeah. That's something 7th grade French taught me. Simple when it was first written they weren't verses they were as rounded instead of angled. Over time we have done verses to save time. Hence your question. Why isn't it called we? In Swedish it's called double v double v and is pronounced the same way as normal v. 
other than in some names. W is rarely used in Swedish. Till. Germans say BMW as BMV which makes total sense knowing how German pronounces W but I guess I never thought about it before. Language is fun. What are the two most common sounds you makes? Ua. Say ua really fast. Sounds a lot like W because W is literally a W. Because in cursive it looks more like a W. Plus double verses doesn't roll off the tongue as easily. At least in Swedish it's pronounced double V, so double verses I never understood this either. Because double U refers to the English phonetics of the vowel, not its written representation. The VVW goes back to Latin that used V both as V and U. Naturally, that diversified across languages it's V and double V in German. For example, when we were teaching our niece the alphabet she was about two. We made her repeat every letter. She was doing amazing until we got to W. We said, W. She responded with double M-E? Cutest thing ever and almost didn't want to correct her cold sweat smile. Then we have Portuguese, where it's called doble U, and it means literally nothing in Portuguese. Disregarding the linguistic history, consider that it generally makes the sound of two us in a row. The first long u, the second short a. Uh. Mechanically, it can often be described as a diphthong. English has a few vowel sounds that could be described as diphthongs despite being represented by a single letter, like the long i as in flight, which is mechanically a e e. This information can be helpful if you're trying to speak in reverse. But who would record themselves in reverse and flip it just for fun? Not this guy. No sir. Fun fact. In French it is called double V. Another fun fact. The V in Latin makes a U and W sound whereas a W in German makes a versus sound. Over time. As classical Latin and German evolved to Old English and Old High German the letters were distinguished by writers based on how vowels were spoken. My question is why hasn't English evolved to make it easier to pronounce? Why is it still at best dubia instead of just da or wa? Depends on the language. I'm Romanian and we call it double V. And as far as I know. Most Latin languages call it like that as well. I too am curious, so my question would be double why. Why why? A long time ago U and V weren't different letters. The letter U was often written like a V. So when W came around it was called double U. Isn't it because Latin didn't have a letter for U so they used V instead? Like aqua aqua. So the letter W even if it looks like two V's, it's actually two us. So a double U might be wrong about it. But that's the theory I've heard P. X 200 B. Another one would be that in cursive writing. W is often written as U U. Is there some relation to the lowercase Greek letter Omega? That one looks like a modern W but made out of two V's. Totally speculating though. I just realized that in Welsh, W is actually pronounced like, well, a double U. E.g. P.W.L.L. Pool. That's so weird I was thinking about this yesterday. And it happens to be the only letter in the alphabet that is more than one consonant besides. L. Amino. V and U are the same letter but U is sloppier. W was invented when everyone used V for both sounds.